Hey everybody, welcome back. This should be the last run on the weekly for this weekly, but we've been, I don't want to say we've been farming because that's insulting to, the, to our opposition. But we have been planting seeds and reaping the rewards. <laughs> Maybe a hot planet, you know, like um, Mercury. That's probably one of the hottest. I don't want to like body shame Neptune or Uranus or whatever. And I'm, I'm not trying to set the expectation, by the way, that this run will also be amazing. Because I think that there's no way for us to, to know that. I don't think... We really want bacon? I think I'd rather roll for a level up. I'd rather roll for two levels up. Works for me. We might be at a disadvantage right now, but we'll be at full HP regardless. We might just be at one win instead of two. It would be nice to be at two. Hang on. Hang on. It is still one win instead of two. I guess it didn't really matter if we lost that one versus drawing it, but... Anything could happen, but I'm feeling pretty good about our success so far. And look, I'll just be honest with you. We know what units are good, and we know what units aren't really so good. This is a good unit, especially when Pineapple shows up later. So you go there. For now, I'm going to buy you, because we don't really want the level up here. And none of these other units at... Uh, you know, tier two. I'm trying to think of tier two units that we'd carry to the end game. It would really, or, or even for a minute here, it would really just be the stork that would even have a chance. And we got to win regardless, dude. I'm feeling like I'm, my, my super auto pets brain is working okay today. Maybe it's because I, I played so much Hitman today. I forced myself to actually reason through decisions and be like a, a little patient for once. Really rather you have broccoli than, than any of this. I would freeze you. More levels is always good. Not really that interested in you at this point. I, I would say you had your chance. Moth maybe, on the other hand, though. I think a moth can last longer than a, uh, than a beetle. No offense to the beetle. Except the obvious offense that was intended in the first place. Okay. Good. You piece of junk. <laughs> Is that a rare situation where the stronger unit at the back actually would have won that? I'm, I'm too lazy to check. Let me see. Skunk's pretty good. It's not a scaler, but it's a good unit. Penguin is a scaler, on the other hand. And we want to buff only um, our, our level 2 units. So I think we have to sell Marmoset, because like at least the beetle gives us like a, a modest advantage. The Marmoset gives us the rolls. So I would say just buy your lettuce... It'll buff tier threes, tier fours, tier threes and tier fours. Okay. What do we want to see? I think we can save our, our rerolls. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use them now just to, just to get my head straight. Because what we're really looking for is pineapple. Maybe, it can't be borrow, maybe as well, but... Pineapple on the woodpecker is is for our short-term success, and then capybara is like for more long-term success. You're you're in you're killing your own dudes. You're in your base killing your dudes. I'm a little surprised we made the win there. Dave Lash, you think they're re related to Mickle Lash? It's tempting to sell a woodpecker and put a capybara out here, but then when you pivot, you're selling the capybara anyway. So you know it's got a very short uh, lifespan here. I'm going to, again, I'm going to make a bit of a crazy investment. I'm going to put broccoli on our woodpecker. I'm going to keep the, the moth frozen. We're just very, you know, inch by inch, we're building up some stats here. And I'm, I, I guess if I had to say what's the strategy on this run right now, well, if it's anything, it's really like win now and don't worry about late game scaling. But in order for this strategy to work, we have to win like every round. Like we have to consider that a draw is basically a loss. Buff me. It's really, really hard to not go with two hippos here. Now this makes our penguin actively worse. You would have been such a nice get about five seconds ago. It makes our penguin actively worse, but it's it, it's also a hedge against, you know, falling off in the late game. 
We could have sold Woodpecker instead and then kept the beetle, uh, you know, buzzing around. But we're, we're, we're picking our battles, as I'm saying. We're picking our battles. We're trying to find... We're, no shop has been perfect for us so far. Some have been pretty good, but no shop has been perfect so far. You need this. You need this. Our penguin is still not very good. You know what that means. We could... Chocolate's coming out, but we could also just replace our penguin with a monkey. Hopefully, like, as soon as our, our next shop. This is this one's looking not so good. Or never mind, it's looking it's looking great. We're still cruising. I feel vindicated a little bit in my decision making process. We have to we have to kill, basically. Penguin is buffing one one per turn. You're gone, crocodile takes your place. Roll me. I'm not necessarily like a thousand percent sold on the on the woodpecker. But you know, you, you play with what you got. Give me a level two skunk. Freeze me the crocodile. We really want chocolate on the hippo, but honestly, we've reached the point where the hippo is not good enough to really be expected to carry us. Huge plays. Potentially huge plays. I would happily accept my draw there, given that their team was so much more scaled than me. Level 3 Moth gives us a Tier 6. Tier 6 Fly. <laughs> um, okay. I, I mean, the Hippo's just not doing it. And the I don't... Dragonfly and Penguin, at this stage of the game, they're both, like, a little too late, I think. So I think you take this, and you get ready to maybe send out a Level 2 Crocodile. And it, this is a bit of a... It's a poison pill to swallow. Like, I just don't see that we have the stats to make this happen. But I could be wrong. It doesn't seem like I'm wrong based on how this is going right here. We need to, if we're gonna snipe, we have to snipe more than this, at least. And this will help. I think we have the perfect summon pivot here. We have to, like, forget about the moth. Run an orca at the front. Forget about your woodpecker. Put a turkey like one... You could put it there. It needs to live, though. And it, it stands a very realistic chance to be sniped. Here's a crazy move for you. Turkey with melon armor. Level 2 orca will necessitate moving positions around. I don't know. This is just the only way I see this going down. <laughs> Otherwise, I think we were, we were on a slow path to irrelevancy. Accidentally, the, the sanest um, melon armor of all time. We're still gonna... We're still gonna draw. We're still gonna win. Oh, my God. <laughs> Level me. At this point, I just think we, we got to roll with what we have. It's been too okay. Very important to me that the turkey levels up. With how many units we're spitting out here. And we're hoping to get like an orca chain. But it's, it's no guarantee. I would like to say thank you to the skunk. I know I've doubted you in the past. I'd like to apologize. I've, I've learned the error of my ways. Uh, okay, we're going up against an aardvark. Which is just, that's a soul read. You got me. And to be honest with you, it wasn't even close. <laughs> and the more units we summoned, the worse that was going to get. So as soon as we saw the aardvark, that one's over. I would say a skunk could still go here. Roll me. Chili's got a, a certain je ne sais quoi, but see if you get a chocolate, I suppose. No chocolate. It's kind of a bad shot for us. I still think there's a chance this is doable. It's only turn 13, but like it's, it's not going to get any easier. We're going to win this one, I think. Microbe's a little spicy, I suppose. It's not that spicy. Oh, they summoned their own microbe. <laughs> it takes us to eight. We, and it's, again, it wasn't really by much. So we really gotta... I mean, we gotta make some moves. I don't see a chili pepper doing it. I see this as a roll situation. And we really want to see... Even a carrot doesn't really fit on this team. I think we need chocolate on the on the turkey and, and then a level 3 skunk to have a chance here. So it's getting... It's getting quite difficult. I mean, you, you can see the teams that we're up against just like I can. Thank you for not overriding um, my own... 
tomato, which is a very important part of the squad for me right now. We still lose, I think? I don't know, man. It's... <laughs> okay, we do still lose, but it was, like, surprisingly close. Considering the statistical differences between our teams. Okay, I'm gonna. I wish I didn't feel like I had to, but I'm gonna. Okay, and that's it. We're, we're rolling. My, oh, my orca, I'm just okay. I, if we win or draw, we're gonna need that. I don't know. I mean, eight with this team, it, it was fun. But we really gotta... Oh, no. My spawning team? Is it okay? I don't think it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, the, the most copium of all time is it okay all right you got me it's another strong team yourself there but i'm i'm happy with eight considering considering the the pivot that we made in the mid game there and this is a, this is a good start here give me this give me this run your moth in position two i don't know it's the early game is still a little spicy for me this week. I'll be like a sandwiched buttocks. Try not to think about it. No, not for to protect you. To protect me. Please don't think about it. It's been a good weekly, though. We, we There have been the occasional, you know, wet farts. And I'm not talking about our algorithmically designed team name. Um, but... Uh, I feel like this was one of those weeklies where we, we pieced it together. So close. All right, now the real fun begins. Level. Woodpecker, I still think is good enough. Let's start with the Marmoset, because a free reroll to give us a fish would be an uh, incredible asset. Nothing of value. Why don't you combine me, freeze me, roll me? Honestly? I saw I saw her face and I'm a believer. Ideally, we could just draw for a couple of rounds until the shrimp engine gets going, and then it's then it's smooth sailing, smoother sailing. Two trumpets. We lose this one. Even with the snipe, we lose this one. It's okay. Four HP. You can hear me clicking like a madman. I can't. As once I see how it's going to resolve, I'm like, I don't. We don't need to play this out. Honestly, give me give me these two. I'm willing to do it. I'm willing to sell ya, I'm willing to buy ya. I'm willing to sell ya, and I'm willing to run a clownfish momentarily. Run the squad thusly. Now, we already got the level 2 shrimp. That solves one concern with the shrimp, which is having the space for, like, multiple shrimp in the si situation that comes... Oh, come on. <laughs> in the situation that comes up, like, literally all the time, which is you don't get a level 2 shrimp early, you're just running two of them for, like, half the game, and you're like, what am I doing? My, my space is not utilized effectively. Listen, I, I think you could do some stuff for us, but I gotta... I'm gonna start here, and now we're in exactly the same situation we literally just talked about a second ago, except with more shrimp this time. Go ahead and level up. You must be on the team. And the way to do this, maybe you wait one round and, and sell ya. Because we want the, yeah, something like that looks best, I think. And then buyable, sellable, sure. Please do not lose this round. Because we actually have such a great engine for buying and selling to, to give this the chance to be the scaling run we've always wanted. Beautiful. I, I felt like we were going to run over him, so that felt nice. Now, how, how do you do this? Forget about the starfish. We just don't have the space, man. You're going to sell a moth first. Why don't you sell a fish? It doesn't matter. <laughs> sell the moth. Don't buff the fish. Thank you. That This fish is fine. The other fish is not fine. Buy me. Sell me. Forget about the starfish for now. Don't worry about the wasted 1-1. One, because one. you buy it thinking like, oh, there's another cell trigger already in the shop. But then like, you don't realize that like half of the units that you buy for a shrimp build don't have a cell trigger. You get the cell trigger when you sell them in the shrimp triggers. So you don't, don't limit yourself with the starfish at, at this stage of the game. In my, in my opinion, at least. So I would say, go ahead and, and for now, why don't you buff the clownfish on this cell? And then we might as well just have 
I guess this one might have been an order situation, but keep throwing your buffs out there. We got one more coming. Might as well be a starfish here, I suppose, and, and keep it going. I guess we didn't need a level there. Three, three, but we're about to be on tier four, though, so I would say pass. An 820 is 710. We really want to get this, this shrimp to level three, or at this stage, we could probably just combine it into a level 2.33. I don't know, the extra HP is nice, though. And as long as we're winning, it doesn't feel like there's much reason to change, but... How about combine me, buy me, sell me. Thank you, thank you. Sell me. He's going sicko mode. Buy me. That situation, it felt like it made sense. More than anything else, I think I would like a buy me, sell me here. Unless that was your third trigger. Was that your third trigger? It was. In that case, sell me, can me. I know it's it's a little unusual, but I don't really see... Outside of maybe the Falcon, which I've not been super impressed with this week, although I have seen it do some interesting things, I don't really see this being like a, an opportunity where we needed to go five squatted. Like, we, we lose that one five squatted anyway with our other units. Skunk is tempting, for sure. I would say buy me. Sell me. I'm, I'm hoping maybe we can get another buffalo. Apparently not. I would run just a penguin for now. And it's buffing <laughs> shrimp and clownfish. Uh, nevertheless. Okay, but shrimp's going to level. Buffalo might level next time. This is a great uh, buyable sellable. This will be an, an insane round to not lose. The value in not losing on this round goes crazy. And this team does not look impressive. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry to say that, but the, the, the game made me appear to be honest. No disrespect. Go ahead. Go ahead. Level three. Don't really want to fly. I would say buy me. Place me. Buy me, sell me, and sell me. Now, this is looking okay. Now, you could certainly run a scorpion here. And I don't know if maybe you should be, like, slightly further back. I mean, you do have 38 stats overall, but... You have 40 stats overall? That's pretty good for a, for a clownfish that buffs other things. Greatest scorpion play of my life! Super Auto Goose, you gotta get a little bit zanier than that. Running a weak hippo at the front. There's scorpions out there, brother. You be afraid. Anyway, my scorpions gotta go. <laughs> Sorry. It, it's true, though. Good level. Honestly, the, the buffalo's getting pretty close to max stats in the next couple of rounds. It's gonna be at max HP soon. <laughs> you know what that means. That means we actually don't concern ourselves any longer with uh, the buy-sell. We concern ourselves only with the process of purchasing monkeys and then cycling these three units up to the front. Our penguin is probably gone. You, you sell the level one penguin, replace it with a crocodile, or run two monkeys to get your scaling going off even faster. I feel great. I feel like our team is incredible. And it really, like, you know what it was? It was the freaking shrimp, man. Getting that high level shrimp early, like, it, it changed everything. I would not, I mean, crocodile's good. Actually, our scaling is pretty good. I think I would, I would like, buy and buy. And probably like a melon goes crazy and then buy the crocodile next turn. I think a level two crocodile could definitely be an asset here. And you're still level one. We're going to be buying units. I think it's time to, to start buffing our um, a, a different unit. I'm hoping that they don't have a chili pepper, which would basically nullify our melon. But, you know, we, we got to invest in, in the future of our scale. Okay, my melon has been nullified, as has my crocodile, I suppose. And yet, and yet... Still feeling good. We got more than one way to beat you. We can beat you on skill. We can beat you on speed. We can get, get down and dirty and grind you down in the corners. We can beat you with preternatural goaltending. We got lots of options. Go ahead. You know, you might want a tomato at some point. We can beat you on the equipment side of things. We can beat you economically. 
We're like Team Iceland in the Mighty Ducks too. I, I have to hand it to him. Is a clutch mosquito? And for what? Okay, that takes us to eight on turn 13 with great scaling. I'm feeling, I'm feeling mighty nice. <laughs> Not too worried about the, the clownfish leveling up to level three. Very interested in some chocolate or some matches. Not the ice cream I don't think is the play here. I think pineapple if we don't get chocolate, which we didn't. Very important moment when the shrimp crosses 31 HP and can't be one-tapped. That's a nasty unit right there. And, and and for what? Look at that. Dude, I'm I'm stunned. Like my my default plan keeps falling apart and we still keep steamrolling. Go ahead. Don't think we need any more melons on the team. Chocolate apparently doesn't exist. Okay, now I sound very whiny. <laughs> it's already pretty whiny, like going off on like a seven win streak or something and complaining. But then when it showed up right as I clicked the button, and certainly the optics of that are a lot worse. Now this is a, is a team. And for what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, we drew. Well played, Deeks. They got ball players too. Next phase will be, I mean, I, I guess I could, this does buff our buffalo a little as well. Next phase would be a level three monkey. If we get a level three monkey, it, it, well, even if we don't, then the phase following that is you move your clownfish to the front and then you give your clownfish a, uh, a melon as well. But there's not gonna, it's not going one more. We still got it. Shrimp's been kind of surprising this week. It's been a while since I've seen a shrimp this good. Probably since first time at Red Lobster. Happy fifth grade graduation, Ryan, from your parents. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. I think that's the last one for the weekly this week, so I'll catch you with the fresh batch. Wednesday, maybe? I don't know. Is this coming out on Tuesday? A fresh batch tomorrow. See ya.